All right, so folks, uh, this is officially the largest deal I have ever bought here with my new friend Christian, who is here all the way from Maine. Uh, drove 16 hours yesterday and last night, is that right? Yeah. So tell me, as we start, <laughs> our main mission of this video is going to be to unload this stuff. And to be honest, I'm not, I, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if we're going to be able to get everything in here, but luckily we've got Spanky's vehicle with us as well. Will you tell me as we're starting to grab some of this stuff, like what's the history of this collection? Started about 10 years ago, uh -huh. like towards the end of college. Yeah. And it's kind of just a fun hobby thing to do. And is this uh, is this console is, elsewhere? Yeah. Or is it just the box? Just the box. Okay. Uh, I actually use that for my <laughs> Oh, gotcha. <laughs> just as time went on, it just kind of became just got more and more out of control, just finding deals at yard sales, getting whatever I could, and it started out as like, oh, I want all the N64 games. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, well, the Sega Genesis games are so cheap, I'll just start collecting those two. And just... <laughs> that was a good time to do that. Before I know it, I got a PC Engine Duo R. Yeah, where's just... that? It's just the most obscure random Yeah. Thing. <laughs> What is, I, I don't remember looking at that specifically on the price charting list. What, is, what does that go for? Any idea? Uh, Do you like remember? Probably like $300. Okay. Like in the box and stuff. Yeah, I also so, have um, a couple controllers and like a multi tab. Yeah, thing, yeah. So okay. You can play so you have the whole that. hookup for the PC <laughs> Engine Duo. Yeah, I yeah. actually <laughs> just got one or maybe even two of those in the RGT collection. I saw that. Um, so that I've literally never had one before, like last month. So that's kind of a funny coincidence. Yeah. Um, I don't have many games for it, unfortunately. Okay. There's probably like six or eight of them. Nice. Okay. <laughs> six or eight PC Engine Duo games. <laughs> All right. So, Spanky, what do you think, like, What's the strategy here? Biggest items first, maybe? Or I guess some of the biggest items are gonna be the boxes of games. Yeah. We're gonna to have to play so, Tetris for sure. Yeah, what did you do like when getting yours in? Did you start, should we try to like, I guess we've got your car, so I think it'll be fine. Maybe put all the consoles in yours for now and see yeah. how the boxes are good. Do you have like any favorite boxed console right now? Oh, jeez. Uh, probably this. Uh, uh, Wind Waker, Wii U edition. Yes, that Any, one looks, it Zelda, looks nice I'm and minty of, too. Uh, a little disappointed getting rid of, but yeah. Zelda so shit is definitely my uh, my shtick. You got <laughs> tattoos of it too. Yeah. Wow. The Korok shit. Ocarina. Wow. So, what made you decide to like sell at this point? Um, just ready to grow up, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Life. Um, okay, so it looks like a box of manuals here. Was this stuff listed? Um, I believe so. Okay. Yes. Uh, I mean, not, not all of it. <laughs> the Mad Cats. Sure. Dreamcast controller. Miscellaneous Anything little. Anything that's important is not like posters was in and that the, shit. Okay. Do these go with games that are in the lot, uh, do you know? Or are these yeah, just like, kind of miscellaneous? These are all like shit that was just inside of Super Nintendo games. Yeah, and I think that a lot of them are the same posters. Okay, were there Some of them are different. were there listings on price charting for these posters? Not that I know of. Probably not. But I, some of them, dang, that is pretty sick. That's fun. That's the kind I think of thing. There's like a master system one here too. It's just such a trip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely not the kind of thing that we would be able to put on Amazon. But these these are like cool little items. Um, it's. It's the type of stuff where you probably want to just throw it in thoughts of Super Nintendo. Yeah. Like one of the more expensive ones. Yeah. So make it look more full. Part of the reason also that this deal worked out, as I told you earlier, is later this month we've got a convention that I'll be driving to uh, in South Carolina. Normally, I try to avoid lots that have a lot of boxed consoles because I have no like really good way of selling them online. But since that convention is coming up, I'll be able to like price them out and fill my car with them to bring down there. Probably end up honestly just selling a lot of them to other vendors for like around half of market. Uh, but I've got like one of each. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, and they're in nice shape too. So like, I don't think I'll have any trouble selling them if I, you know, 
I put will a decent price say, on them. Like I know the black Wii, uh -huh. um, it doesn't have inserts. Okay. So it is just a box. And I do believe that's how I marked it on price charting. Sure. But like, but yeah, yeah, there's I mean, no inserts in this. Are there that. any like big condition issues that I should be aware of? Mm, I mean, no, everything works as far as I know. Okay. Um, there's like, I think there's three Game Gears and only one of them has been recapped. But again, that's on price charting. That just counts as zero dollars when I add it in as it's broken. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Game Gears, it's it's pretty tough to find them in like good it, working And that's another, the ones that don't work, like you turn it on and you can hear a little volume happening, the screen like flickers, so you know it's just recap and it's yeah i'm not i've never been a game gear guy myself none of their games <laughs> are really worth almost yeah. none of the games are really worth i played it either. as a kid it's just like a cool thing but i i remember as a kid it was so big and bulky compared yeah. to like the game boy in my pocket okay we got a whole bunch of like miscellaneous game boy cards and chargers it looks like in here sure i know that one's for a game boy micro this one is yeah it's definitely wow that one. okay yeah that is not one that I see, but there's two Game Boy Micros in here. Okay. Yeah, Somewhere. so those, especially when they're OEM expensive, the chargers on their own can go for a good bit. Because um, they're kind of they're kind of hard to find. You can get replacement chargers for them anywhere, but... Um, I'm not... Sh I'm pretty sure I have enough DS, 3DS chargers. Yeah. There's a couple brand new ones. Um, Take a look at this. But yeah, you might of... be short on a couple of DS chargers as yeah. well. Sorry about that. That's all right. We have... Spencer knows we've got a couple bins full of 3DS chargers, so we're good on those. Ooh, Harry Potter's a good one too. So is this how you stored like all anything that was loose or like incomplete from the collection, like mostly in this box Pretty here? Pretty much, okay. yeah. I think there's like some Dreamcast, maybe PlayStation and shit. Okay. But even just like the little cases are sweet, especially for the GameCube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these so actually, tiring. I want to say they're actually, believe it or not, for you other resellers out there, I think there's a listing for this specific GameCube case on Amazon, which is very strange. There's almost no like cases that we'll send in. This one does not have a listing, but these two we might actually send in depending on, yeah, how this one cleans up and stuff. But, um, are there any discs that like you remember not working or anything like that? Honestly, I did not test a lot of these ones, okay. unfortunately. So um, we got a lot of sports titles in here. Anything like good though is definitely probably works, or I wouldn't have kept it like Mario 4, I definitely know works. Okay. Star Fox, Prince of Persia. Cool. Worms 3D's badass. It's like the third copy of the Matrix, Enter the Matrix I have. Okay. <laughs> What's the story with this one? Uh, is this a Game Boy? Yeah, be very careful opening that one. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, here's a tricky question for you. This will really test your knowledge. How recently have you played the Pokemon games? Do you know if their batteries are good? I've replaced all of them, yeah. You replaced them yourself? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, that is not real. <laughs> Sorry about that. Could have fooled me. <laughs> there's, no, there's no English Pokemon Green? What? <laughs> Metal Slug, Advance Wars 2 is a great one. I think that's a pricey one. Yeah, you had some uh, had some good taste in Game Boy and GBA games here. Let me see it. Definitely a lot of games that are Mario World. super expensive, but I don't seek sports titles. Yeah. So like uh, most of the titles are going to be. So stuff how I saw a good like. number of uh, like GameCube sports games. Is that just do you have you bought like people's collections in the past or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just accumulated stuff that way. Kind of just started, you know, doing what you're doing, and it's where I'm located. It seems like everything's been picked dry, like COVID and yeah. the past few years yard sailing. I haven't been able to find a single thing on the East Coast. Uh, so those are actually, those are 3DO games. Three, okay, so this is the 3DO <laughs> lot. We'll have to remember um, I this. I do for... have a bunch more in their actual uh, jewel cases. As well. Okay. Wow. So you have like a solid 3DO collection. Pretty much. Yeah. Wow. I actually have a really cool wireless 3DO controller. Yeah. Um, that came from a bar that I go with Steve. A bar. <laughs> That's it's a great sure story. A bar. It has a, a sticker on it. It's like return to the bar when finished. A ski bar 3DO controller. Yeah. It's wow. 3DO controller. It's super strange. 
Alright, I'm gonna try to get these out without like scuffing anything here. Wow. Pretty deep. Oh my gosh. Electronics boutique, low price of $99. It's probably worth a bit more than that now. Yeah, and it definitely works. I've tried it. Property of, what does that say? Sugar, Sugar Leaf Loaf. Br Sugar Loaf Brewing Co. <laughs> Return to bar one point. That's incredible. Just the fact that the sticker's on there, but that also just like that. What a to fun be a item. To be like, hey, yeah. play this 3DO at the bar. So I'm curious, do you mind if we take another load here over? Yeah, yeah. Um, was there any stuff that you decided to keep? Any consoles or? Uh, just the newer stuff. Just because that was like my most expensive shit. I just spent like $600 on the Halo Xbox. Okay. Like the PS5 isn't even worth half of what I paid for. So like my most recent gen consoles. Yeah. Uh, I hooked you up with a few Switch titles for sure. Okay, appreciate that. Uh, I'm also realizing I had a little stat. Have you ever bought something directly from Limited Run? Uh, like a couple times, maybe twice, and then it came like a year later and I forgot that I bought it. Right. <laughs> like back in the day, they used to like hook you up and I like, have a few soundtracks um, and they give you cards, like little collectible cards. Uh huh. And so I had a little pile. Guy right here. I had a little pile um, of that stuff. Uh huh. And I just spaced on bringing it last minute. Oh, so that's like, well, I'll forgive you. It looks like you had your hands full. <laughs> So I'm going to offer I can like ship it to you if you want. Okay. It's, it'll probably, I know like if you Was put, it in the price charting list? No. Okay. Um, I don't know how to add River City Girls soundtrack. Yeah, like, you know, I don't do a ton normally with the collector's edition kind of stuff. And, and that's the thing, they weren't even collector's edition, just what it used to come with. Yeah. Like a poster, a soundtrack, a, uh, I've got the console for that too. This controller is really bringing me back. The Pikachu console. Yeah, this is the one that I had as a kid. And uh, I'm still hunting. You don't have the box for it, do you? Uh, I'm hunting for one of these in box. Ren has the bo a, a box one. So tell me, do you have, I think I remember seeing uh, on the price charting list, uh, a couple Fantastics. Do you have the Fantastics that go with all these controllers? Or? Uh, yeah. Okay. I've got an orange green one and a black orange. Okay, and the, what was that, smoke? So uh, but I don't, have a, I don't have a great one. I don't have a smoke controller. Oh, that's cool. You gotta get a look in. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this out, one but he's got a, a couple faded, of but... a couple of boxed N64 controllers in there. That's super cool, wow. I'm gonna have plenty to bring to Siege this year. All and right. Just, I mean, the bag itself is pretty badass. That is, I like that a lot. I. I'm tempted to say, man, I kind of want to keep that, but I don't anticipate myself bringing my N64 to a friend's house anytime soon for, for a sleepover. Right. Um, wow. What's in the, like, USPS box down here? Um, I think just memory cards. Okay, like miscellaneous peripherals. Definitely more N64 I'll hand that stuff. back to you. I don't want to drop that or anything. Okay, so this is good to come with. And here's a closer look at that. That boxed PC Engine Duo R. Let's maybe see if we can take a peek under the hood here. Do you remember, Let's like, in it. this collection, what are some of, like, the single highest dollar items? That I paid for personally? Well, either way, that you paid for <laughs> or that are worth that now. Um, I've got Magic Knight Ray Earth for the Sega Saturn. The Saturn game, yeah, that was, what, 800 Yeah. Or so? Yeah, and I paid... Five hundred dollars for that game. Okay, like yeah. The one time I've yeah. you paid up. Is Saturn a big console for you? Um, no. Unfortunately, it's just it's so hard to find shit for. Yeah. I can't find games for it. Um, I, I have probably like five, five or six games for it, give or take, and the console. That's another box that didn't make it. I had a Sega Saturn box, but it, it's just. Yeah, it's, that's all right. It's taped together and shit. Oh, wow, what is this? That is not that. That is consoles. Okay, consoles <laughs> in here. It's a cool box, though. Right, Six, I figured. System organizer for this. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that box is maybe worth something on its own. So this is, you said consoles in here. Uh, yes, but I don't know. Okay, well we'll be surprised together then. Okay, looks like a uh, fat PS3. Now I'm sure you guys are all wondering what the total value of this collection is and price charting had it at just over $66,000 which I think I mentioned later and after a little back and forth Christian and I settled on 46% of total price charting value or about $31,000. Now honestly on a collection like this since there's so much stuff that will have trouble selling online normally I'd like to be closer to 40% but the overall volume and total value of the collection is what convinced us to go a little bit higher on this lot all right so folks i just now unlocked the other 80 percent of my brain and brought my car a little bit closer in the empty parking lot um right now what we're doing is going through each of these boxes and sort of double checking um the price charting list that we had uh, agreed on ahead of time just to make sure that conditions and quantities and everything are lining up trying to do our due diligence on a large purchase here uh the total value of everything here price charting had at I believe just shy of 67,000. Uh, so definitely the most valuable collection that I've ever bought. And the other thing that I wanted to show you guys as well is uh, these blind boxes down here. He tossed in a couple of switch blind boxes, which I have not seen yet. So I thought it'd be funny to open these live. You wanna grab this? Spanky's curious too. So these you could buy, how much were these from Limited Run? Were these like 30 or something like that? 30 or 40? Probably 40 after okay. taxes and shipping. Yeah. So, I don't know. Okay, so the first one, I can't even read the whole title. Let's open it from the top. River River Bond. Okay. Hey, do you know anything about this? Um, I know that it's a game I already purchased from them. So okay, you already, you already had this. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Yeah, right. Maybe they didn't sell enough uh, copies. Know, it looks cool, though. It's just a little though. multiplayer game. You Is it fun? run around and choose characters from i can't remember the okay the yeah that's yeah so shovel, shovel knight and, yep uh, that's cool yeah i i love multiplayer games so i'm actually pretty stoked about that yeah and then let's see second blind box mythic ocean i like the art style on that and yeah i have no idea about that game so okay this one's one player really cool well thank you i appreciate that yeah. This is all sealed? Yeah. You know, E.T., Digital Companion. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I need to be, be I, need, I feel like I need to put box. put gloves on for this. Uh, I mean, most everything is cased, but there's a couple, like the Switch light is encased, but it is brand new. Okay. Joy-Cons have been opened. Metroid Fusion is a big one. Sealed. Dang. Okay. Castlevania. Okay, yeah, pretty pretty good sized tear on that. Um, Harmony of Dissonance. And this is probably the biggest area where like we have to be pretty picky about condition because like sealed games on price charting, their price is based on usually seals that are like in nice shape, you know? Because most of the listings that sell are like that. Um, but I'll go through, like, I don't like, I don't like making individual deductions, especially on a purchase this large. So unless it's something that is, like, pretty glaring, then we'll just uh, kind of keep it as is. completely fair. Halo 3. I'm not a good rule for a dollar as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're getting all kinds of, what do you think was, you know, like, your... Too, when it's like, yeah, the security seal. 2007. Sealed. What do you think was your single, like, greatest game hunting find? <sighs> Man, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's this one, my friend, uh, he, uh, he had a big collection of just all sorts of stuff. Uh, that's where I got Magic Knight, Ray Earth, and the Sega Saturn. And yeah. Well, I got a Turbo Express from him. Have you ever seen a Turbo Express? Um, it's the Turbo Graphics yeah. handheld Game Boy. Yeah. I think this <laughs> might be the first sealed Turbo Graphics game I've ever bought. <laughs> I feel like anyone who owns them bought them from that one guy on eBay. Okay, is that where you got this one? Yeah. Some guy on eBay? <laughs> he just has a box of them. So probably not especially rare on like that. like a $100 game. Okay. Know. Yeah. 
and then we've got a more modern yeah, Shantae. Some modern shit in there as well. Limited run. Okay, a good number of. This is in pretty nice shape. What's this? Oh that man, an F Zero as well. Battle Axe Game Gear game sealed. Sealed Game Gear. Axe Battle. All right. And was it normal to have this thing poking through the top? Um, I th think so. Okay. I think that's how, or no, Beavis and Butthead is completely sealed, I think. This guy here is another question mark. This is the player's choice. Definitely not as much as the non-player's choice. Yeah. But, I mean, from what I'm seeing, the seals look pretty top decent. Seal. Yeah. And this is something that on most Super Nintendo games you look for as well as, um, you know, the down the middle seam. I don't know if... That is not a sealed game. Okay. <laughs> Still an awesome game. And it wouldn't have been listed as sealed, right? No. But yeah. this was, I mean, this is an expensive one. It's... It is, yes. Uh, but there's also, this one is the cardboard box instead of like the plastic clamshell. Which shot. one, it's do you know which less. goes for more? I think more. this one's a little less, but it's still like a over $100 game. Sure. Okay. Twilight Princess, yeah, this is a big like one. In my being to not open that. It looks like it almost wanted to come open, <laughs> but I, I do think that this is still the original seal. You kind of see the game in there. Well, thank you for keeping all this stuff so organized for us. That definitely makes our life easier. I like the bag for this anyway. <laughs> is that what this is designed for? Um, I know I got that. it. That's crazy. From Japan. Okay. Something I bought from Japan. Well, it looks like a like a U.S. model, so. Okay. Cool. And folks, I already know in the comments of this video, there are going to be some hater hanks and some faceless franks saying, Oh, 46% of price charting, what a scam, this guy's ripping people off. And I'm just here to tell you, uh, Christian did his due diligence on this purchase. He contacted, I think, three to five other uh, local stores and online video game resellers to get multiple offers. And I'm just here to say the reason that he drove 16 hours to sell us this stuff is we were the best offer and it was not close. Oh, wow. <laughs> that really takes me back. There, Actually, when I saw this on the price charting list, I'm pretty sure I still don't have a complete Sapphire version on my Pokemon shelf, so this one's going to be staying with me. Oh, yeah. Is this complete, too? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. That, that one I'm really stoked about. I this do one have is Emerald. in amazing condition. Yeah, this well. thing's... Get a look at that. Just get an eyeful there. <laughs> Ooh. So nice. So was most of what you put in this box like some of the high dollar gems? Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure Neotopia 2 is like a $250 card. I have to say Turbo Graphics With games one might be some of the <laughs> least well-versed console games that uh, I have knowledge on. Okay, yep, Splatterhouse I might have guessed. And Splatterhouse 2. Wow. And then, what I picked up here were some PlayStation games, Azure I have Dreams. Quite the uh, Working Designs game collection. As well. What's your favorite Working Designs game? Probably uh, the uh, Exile, Alundra. I just really? played that too. Yeah. Uh, what What do you like most about it? Uh, it's just Zelda esque, but it's a little bit more difficult. It's kind of challenging. Yeah. It doesn't hold your hand. Okay. Uh, some of the mechanics are a little frustrating, but it's it's a good one. I uh, I never played through it. I got to the final boss and couldn't, never ended up beating him. Vanguard Bandits. I don't recall. It's like a mech. Ever, is this one pretty rare? Game. Uh, yeah, yeah. Raystorm East One and Two For the on the Turbo CD. Graphics. Oh, this is the Turbo CD. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's duo. essentially yeah, yeah, yeah. why I bought that PC Duo. Was PC to play duo, this. It's not region long, so you can play American. Wow. Okay, some NES here. You have Mighty Final Fight you talked about. He said the yeah. game that got you into yeah, pretty much. collecting and hunting. Dragon Warrior 4. Years ago. Silent Hill. We just... There's another dollar finds at yard sales. Wow. <laughs> this one at least. Okay, yeah, because that's over a hundred. This one also over a hundred. I can't remember how much I paid for those ones. Marvel, we got some Dreamcast Marvel versus Capcom. 
Com, Symphony of the Night. Oh my gosh, it's nothing but heat in this box. <laughs> Clock Tower's gorgeous, Diablo. And then, I don't know if I want to take all of these out, but look at this. We've got a couple of the Lunars right down there in their big boxes. A couple Zeldas on the 64, Super Castlevania 4, and also uh, some high dollar Game Boy stuff. Crystal version, love to see. Does this one have a new battery as well? Yep. And it does look authentic. And that's another thing I, I don't need. I have like a bag of batteries. I don't need them anymore. Just brought those down too. Yeah, well, I will tell you, we don't, uh, this one looks good too. We don't really do battery replacement, although do do we, like, it's not a difficult procedure, but we just, I don't like to dedicate the time to it. But I did just find out that um, I think East Starland does it for like six bucks a game, which is pretty decent. So we're going to start just like having a bin of needs battery Pokemon games okay. and then eventually like sending them a box full. Uh, Pokemon Fire Red. Yeah, that, that's really nice shape too. Legend of Zelda. Feels complete too. And Link to the Past. And then, okay. You got the original map in there and everything. Got Same a with Link bunch to the more past. working designs. And for those of you guys who don't know, working designs games in general tend to have really good value because they weren't super highly produced, but they have a great reputation as being really fun to play. A lot of them do. Um, Cubivore is bringing me back to the GameCube. Oh my gosh, this copy is beautiful too. Wait till you see the disc. I don't think it's been played. You don't think it's been played? No. I'll take your word on that. My, I don't want to <laughs> drop this stuff that's in my I, hands. I've opened. Well, this is some of the stuff that we like buying most. Uh, just because it's easy to, like, if we price this, say, 10% below market, which we often do, uh, it'll sell quick and for, like, relatively... Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad that you said that because <laughs> it's very possible we could have just left this. Are oh, there any other taped-in games? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, no, no, no. Let's find some... In fact, we can put this back in here, and as long as it's loose in there, we'll hear it. And, uh... Hopefully Somebody's remember. getting a free black version too. <laughs> Holy Spanky shit. already knows. I'm not than remembering the black that. In the case. <laughs> Soul Silver and Heart Gold. If you need a manual, the, the other one's got one. So. Okay, yeah, we may need to throw a <laughs> manual in a there. Manual back there but he tossed in earlier in that other box a, a case only Heart Gold, so that's great. Um, some Zelda stuff. I want to get deep in this box, but I don't want to put this stuff on the ground. Oh, Zelda. Tons of GameCube Zeldas. All the GameCube Zeldas. Have you been playing Tears of the Kingdom at all? I have. I just started playing it like last week. And? A couple weeks. I love it. It's, I'm in, into it. I haven't talked to anyone so far who doesn't. Great. The first one was great. This one's great. It's, uh, I, I wish it was a little different, I guess. Like how? Uh, it's pretty much just like the Breath of the Wild world. Yeah with added shit, I guess. You would have liked to see a different world entirely? Kind of, yeah, but not awful. I'm playing the shit out of it, so. Yeah, I am too. I haven't beat it yet. I'm, I'm over 100 hours in. Yeah, I'm right around there as well. Just refuse to end. Ooh, that's a gorgeous one. You could brush your teeth in that. <laughs> Christian, I can't thank you enough for bringing all of this stuff out here. This has been so fun just to go through. Spanky and I are going to have more fun taking a deeper dive into all of this as we're sorting and pricing and all of that. Bringing it to Kentucky, you made it easy on us. So thanks a bunch and yeah. appreciate you. Hell yeah.